Hey guys, today we're trying suckling pig, watching a Balinese dance, strolling on black sand beach, walking over a hidden yellow bridge, chewing betel leaves on a garden tour, drinking hot cocoa while waiting out heavy rain, and more. Check out how many bananas are in this car. There's like hundreds. Wow, even the side. I'm gonna be trying some Bobby Guling. It's one of the very recommended dishes in Bali. Here's a look at the interior. We're gonna have a seat here. Wait for the food. Check out the stairs. They have no railing. They just prepared my dish. Uh, it looks like we got four pieces of crispy skin. Yeah, I see some vegetables. It looks like green bean. What's what's this right here? That's the skin of the pork. That one's very fatty, but also so tasty. All right, let's see what the big fuss is about of Bobby Guling. Oh, that skin is quite thick. I feel like my mouth is um, <laughs> lifting some weights right now. It's definitely a workout. This is small pig and the big pig. Oh! So this skin is from the small pig and this skin is from the big pig. Ooh, that one's really good. Uh, the other day when we came to Gyanyar Night Market, we had a um, nasi champur with all types of chicken. Like chicken egg, steamed chicken, fried chicken. This was just all pork. Of all that we tried on this plate, the pork saute was the most, most favorite part. The pork skin, the chips, that wins the texture award. Here we have pieces of the liver and stomach. There's a skewer going through those pieces. Uh, I can't take it off of my ear. And there we go. It's tough like a beef jerky. Instead of pulling it off, you just have to chew on it or bite into it. What's interesting about the pig skin is the outside is very firm and uh, it takes a little bit of work to chew on. The inside, um, it has some of that. So, you get like a crunchy, tough texture paired with like a slimy, gooey texture. And this here is sausage. The texture of the inside of the sausage reminds me of tofu. A little bit loose than meat is like. A fresh pig just arrived. In the States, meat is typically bought and served cut into sections. Seeing a whole roasted pig was a more emotional experience, also more honest. It was a direct reminder that you're eating something that was once alive. Although I'm no longer vegan, I couldn't help but feel conflicted while consuming this dish. <laughs> The play we're about to watch portrays the eternal battle between good and evil. In enters Barong, the king of good spirits and enemy of Rangda. Resembling a lion, Barong is a mythical creature in Balinese culture. The servants of Rangda search for the servants of Dewi Kunti, who promises to sacrifice her son to Rangda. Her son Sawadi is tied to a tree for Rangda's consumption. Without Rangda's knowing, the Hindu god Siwa appears and gives Sawadi immortality. Appears Rangda, the child-eating demon queen who leads an army of evil witches. Unable to kill Sawadi, Rangda surrenders and asks for redemption. Sawadi slays Rangda and Rangda goes to heaven. This is turning into a shirt. No joke. Link in the description box. Limited time only. So 
So next to the resort is this black sand beach. My foot is on fire right now, it's super hot. I feel like I'm walking on coal. Because the sand is dark, it's absorbing all the heat. Wow, look at this beach sparkle, it looks like glitter. There's some people wearing rice picker hats. Let's find out what they're doing. So I just looked in this lady's bucket and she's collecting similar sized rocks. Oh, let's take a dip. Wow, that's refreshing. Woo! Oops, my pants got wet. Oh, there are these tiny, tiny little crabs. So tiny! They're smaller than my pinky. It seems to be seaweed. Those clouds remind me of miso soup, but in blue. I was walking towards the east and came across this, would you call it a stream? There's water coming from the inland. These vertical ripples look kind of like a spine. I feel like I'm walking on a wet manicure. There's a body on that tower and they will be cremating it very soon. Yeah. They're gonna cremate it up there? Yeah. So we're on our way to a yellow bridge. However, this road is, well, as you can see, it's definitely a level 10 if you were to ride the motorbike. So we're gonna go downhill here. I'm just gonna walk it. All right, we just made it to the yellow bridge. Oh, this looks super cool. You wanna take a walk? Yeah. Take a walk. Hello. <laughs> Some of these steps are broken. You gotta watch your step a bit. And this bridge bounces a little bit, sways when you walk. The banana leaves are surfing the wind. If you look, there's some uh, holes. This big hole here. Yeah. Another one here. It was too much for the bike to carry two people, so I'm gonna take a walk. So that bridge is a place that not even many locals know about. Look at this rugged terrain. You get these like one to two feet holes. To start to rain, we're gonna Get to a cafe, give our butt a break. Our butts are. Yeah, because too hard. Thank you. Yeah, our butts are falling asleep. <laughs> it's worth it. This is the cinnamon. Cinnamon? Cinnamon, yeah. Do I eat it? No, just smile. Oh, wow. <laughs> you wanna say hello? Yes. Hello. It smells really good. <laughs> How long does this go for? And this is cacao chocolate. Ah, oh, cacao chocolate. This one is cacao also. Ooh. And then I have the... Pineapple? Pineapple, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, now not season yet. The coffee bean, yeah? The coffee is like this. I have skin again. Sorry, like this. Mm. When the old person, I mean the like grandmother, grandfather, want to make to clean the teeth, also strong, this one. You eat it? Uh, but if you like, because someone don't like, someone like it like that. Too strong, right? <laughs> <laughs> because you, you, you driver before, it's good. I like it to eat this. Wow! I can't. That's a very powerful. Yeah, sure. <laughs> How do you even describe that? It's like. It's kind of salty. Yeah, it's salty. <laughs> like yeah, that. a little spicy. A little spicy. Yeah. A little bit sour, a little bit salt. <laughs> it yeah. It's a little bit of everything. And it tastes 
very little sweet too. It's just yes, like right, little. Right, right. It's a roller coaster uh, in the mouth. Oh. There's like a burning sensation a yes. little bit. Yes. Yeah. Right. So it's like smoking a cigarette. So, yes. Also, if you have problems sick like the flu, uh huh. Good make you. What is this place called? Uh, we call Taman Sari here. Oh, this is the name of the uh, business. The, the name is Taman Sari. Yeah, Taman Sari Agri uh, Agriculture. I have in here uh, citronella. Actually, this is the lip anti mosquito. Ah. Can you smell of this? This. <laughs> my my uh, natural bug repellent has the same smell. Yeah. I'll rub it like this. Yeah. And that gets rid of the mosquito. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, uh, from this is the lip. Uh -huh. We do. Uh, I mean, we grow make uh, oil. Oh. Make water. Make water. Not not. This <laughs> is not strong enough. Not strong enough. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Nice try. This is a frangipani. This is frangipani. Terima kasih. Yeah, you are welcome. He also supplied me with some lemongrass. <laughs> Natural highs. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my stash. Cinnamon. Citronella. Lemongrass. And betel nut. Right before we got off the bike, it was level one rain. But now it's a level three and a half. That sound just makes me so excited. It makes me want to curl up with a book. I make some cocoa. Ooh! Let's try it. Let's wow, what an artistic cocoa. That's perfect for a rainy day. Are we going to wait out the rain? Or are we just going to go while it's raining? We just go later. Good. Dogs are barking at us. Oh, it's gambling. Yeah. Okay. But, but, but normally here is more for ceremonies too. I lost all the footage of the cockfight. It may be a good thing, it may be a bad thing. Right before the cockfight started, I changed my uh, memory card because I ran out of space on the first one. And as I was trying to delete one video clip, I deleted the whole second card. Yes, I saw a chicken die. They would wrap a blade onto the chicken feet and then they would release the two chickens and then they would fight. And then sometimes there's a draw. The losing chicken is a prize for the winning chicken's owner. And the losing chicken is a dead chicken, and they'll use it to cook food, make soup, fry it, whatever they want to do with it. I wanted to show you guys a cockfight, not to say, oh, this is bad, or this is okay. I just wanted to raise awareness. And what I find interesting is in Bali, a lot of people think, oh, it's a place like a yoga retreat setting. Like, Ubud has a lot of great places for vegan and vegetarian food. My intention is to show you the various faces of Bali, not just a one-sided perspective. I want to show you what the tourists do, as well as what the locals do, things that people generally see, things that people do behind the scenes. I try to show you a variety of activities, perspectives, you know, expand our mind together. To be honest though, there's a part of me that always wants to go back to being vegan and yet there's a part of me that just wants to stay mostly vegetarian and I know the vegans out there are going to be like oh don't do that, you gotta go vegan but that's just my personal choice anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this travel vlog and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye